Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting live event, this time from the city that never sleeps, New York City. My name is Brian King, and that young lady right there is known as the Spitfire Ginger, Aubrey. She hails from Dublin, Ireland, weighs in at about 101 pounds, and she may be the shortest woman in the wrestling business today because she stands under 5 feet tall, but... That's definitely not a detriment to her, though, because she knows how to kick ass and take names in that ring. And she knows how to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them with no problems whatsoever. She's known for her fiery spirit in the ring, usually taking down competitors that are much bigger and stronger than her. Including this woman right here, who happens to be her opponent tonight, Zaya Corbin. Zaya stands about six foot two, weighs in at about 200 pounds, and remember, she has been going on a weight loss journey and she looks great. And although Aubrey has been training under JTD's Native Strong Academy, I don't, I'm not entirely sure that all that training in that academy is gonna do her any good against Zaya here tonight. And this is a homecoming of sorts for Zaya as she does hail from Brooklyn, New York. She's signed to Fame, Vengeance, and Affinity Pro Wrestling, the latter of which Aubrey is also signed to as well. Zaya and Aubrey are actually best friends outside of the ring, which is very interesting. But this is all about competition in the professional wrestling ring. Friendships are going to have to be put to the side for now. Bell Rings matchup is underway, and these two women have a lot of respect for one another. And you can see that fiery spirit of Aubrey's kicking up here. Zaya letting her know that she's not going to be the one to play around with. These women circle each other in the ring. And, and Zaya laughing at who she feels is her best friend. But remember, Aubrey is not the kind of girl you want to take lightly. She may be under five feet tall, but... Oh! gets shoved into a corner. She may be five feet tall, a little bit shorter, but she's not the kind of girl you want to take lightly either. It's a matter of David versus Goliath here. Speed versus power. Aubrey off the ropes and she gets shoulder tackled. And again by Zaya. Close line by Aubrey. Big back elbow. Thrown into the corner there and Went for a running splash. Aubrey blocked it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Aubrey may be dead after that. One and no. Aubrey only gets the shoulder up at a count of one. Now, remember, Aubrey and Zaya have faced off on breaking the glass ceiling episodes in the past. And the outcome was... Aubrey actually making Zaya tap out, and Zaya wants to redeem herself here tonight. Oh, Jesus. And with a runaway freight train like maneuver like that, she may very well do it, but Aubrey again kicking out at one. You know, there are a lot of people who kick out at one against opponents bigger than them. Matter of fact, I think the only person who kicks out of one at everything is Rannick, but that's another story for another time, as Zaya now just clobbering Aubrey's chest. This seated headlock here, and Aubrey is in a world of trouble. Wait a minute, Aubrey back up to her feet, elbowing Zaya in the ribs. Now these strikes, beautiful back elbow. Went for a lariat and Zaya doesn't go down. Corvin now in the corner. Spitfire Ginger with a spinning heel kick to the face and then to the back. Aubrey now. Oh, look at this beautiful high flying maneuver. Nice drop kick. The monstrous, the monstrous among all, excuse me. Two count gets. She is getting it taken to her here by her best friend. Running Meteora, one, two, and no. Aubrey can't believe that her friend won't go down, but I don't know why Aubrey is surprised. Zaya is much bigger than she is. Kick to the ribs, another one. 
Aubrey, keep in mind, it was the one that ended Zaya's undefeated streak. These women do have respect for one another and they are best friends, but that has to be weighing on Zaya's mind heavily that Aubrey is the one who made her tap out and Aubrey is the one who ended her undefeated streak. Aubrey went for the cross body and is caught. Powerbomb, no. Hurricane Rana into the ropes. Tiger fate kick shades of Nika Safaro. Somebody else that Zaya is very much affiliated with. Forearm into the springboard. DDT into the guillotine. Do you and Zaya is in big trouble. She could tap out again submit? here tonight. Do you give up? She could tap out again here. And no. Zaya powering out this time. Firing up with more strikes. Off the ropes goes Aubrey and Jesus God. A spine buster there by Corvin. Two and no. And Zaya cannot believe that Aubrey didn't go down. But remember, Aubrey is no slouch in that ring. Aubrey is not the kind of girl you want to take lightly. She may be 4'11". She may only weigh 100 pounds, but... This girl is definitely not the kind of girl that gives up easily. And Zaya is starting to realize that. Two and no. Zaya now throwing Aubrey back into the corner here. Clubbing blows to the back of the neck. God, Jesus! What a beal by Zaya. <laughs> And Aubrey, no, oh, this time by the hair. Oh, my God. Oh, Samoa drop. Jesus, Lord. Aubrey may be dead. Two, three, no. Aubrey staying alive here. Nasty kick right to the spine. Even though these two women are friends, as I said, Jesus, Lord have mercy, 200 pounds on the neck of Aubrey. And no. 200 pounds down on the neck of Aubrey, but somehow she manages to kick out. As I was saying, these two women may be friends. Oh, all the weight. Do you give up? Referee continue? asking Aubrey if she wants to give up, but to me. Do you want to these two women may be friends, but they have no problem with kicking each other's asses, and this camel clutch was locked in tight, but Aubrey manages to escape. Look at this. Spitfire Ginger. Oh, wait a minute. She's got this submission maneuver locked in. Zaya can tap out right here. Referee asking her if she wants to give in. Got this Phoenix, Phoenix clutch, excuse me, locked in. Oh my God. Zaya finding a way out of it, Jesus. One, two, and no. Aubrey managing to get the shoulder up again and Zaya starting to show frustration. And I've seen a few Zaya Corbin matches, and it's when she shows frustration that she's at her best. And now she's just banging her friend's head off the turnbuckle. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Aubrey finding a way out, smashing Zaya's head into the buckle. Aubrey off the ropes. Beautiful move there. Nice drop kick, taking her down. Two and no. Maybe that training by JTD has been paying off after all for Aubrey. Speaking of JTD, as far as I know, his feud with Ryan Ritchie is still ongoing. These hard strikes by Aubrey, but she catches a knee to the ribs. And oh, Jesus, that big Samoan head. Right to that of Aubrey's good lord. Aubrey may have a damn concussion. Big splash in the corner, misses. Aubrey going off the ropes one more time and a tilt-a-whirl backbreaker. And now just stretching her out. 
They have a slip disc in her back, does Aubrey. Zaya with the cover again. One, two, and Aubrey gets her foot on the ropes. Great ring awareness by this young lady. And Zaya, she really does not know what to do or how to put her friend away here. But remember, this isn't about friendships. This is about competition. And more importantly, this is about redemption for Zaya. Now she's got her in a tree of woe. Oh no, this isn't good. This is not good, my God, what a knee. Aubrey hanging upside down. And a nasty kick right to the chest. Oh no. Zaya now going up to the second rope. Letting her know that it's all said and done, but Aubrey moving out of the way of that elbow drop. And now Aubrey kicking Zaya right in the leg. Zaya off the ropes. Aubrey slides under. Big heel kick. Big heel kick right there by Aubrey. This could be it. And no! Zaya Corvin somehow managing to get the shoulder up. Oh no, and now look at this. Do you submit? Triangle choke. Do you want to submit? Triangle choke here by Aubrey. Do this could up? be it. Can you continue? Zaya stuck. Talk to me. She do doesn't know quit? what to do. Oh, but wait a minute. The strength now coming into play. Big power bomb into the cover. One, two. Aubrey may be out and no. She gets the shoulder up in the nick of time and Zaya now stomping away at Aubrey. Yeah, now she's getting real frustrated and look at the strength of the monst monstrous among all. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Oh, she counters. Aubrey counters into a submission hold. Aubrey has her friend in the submission hold once again. And Zaya has nowhere to go, but she knees Aubrey in the head. And she escapes and she takes Aubrey down again. Oh, now she's taunting her. Now she's starting to get that cocky attitude back into her system, and I love it. Aubrey is in trouble. Oh, but Aubrey punching Zaya right in the nose. Aubrey now throwing Zaya off the ropes. Big move. Another move. Nice couple of kicks and a third, a fourth. Trying to chop down this big Samoan Redwood Shining Wizard. And Aubrey is fired up. The fans are behind her firmly. Zaya is in big trouble. She's very disoriented. Aubrey now sees that she has the upper hand. She better not waste any more time pandering to the crowd. Looking for something. Oh, God. A flipping stunner-like maneuver. And no. Zaya again getting the shoulder up. What is it going to take? The Spitfire Ginger is starting to get very, very frustrated and confused on what else she has to do to defeat this big, powerful woman. Aubrey now going up to the top turnbuckle. Letting it be known that Zaya's time is almost up, but Zaya back on her feet. Oh, Jesus! Throwing Aubrey halfway across the ring. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This could very well be it. Corvin takes her down. Jesus Christ. Pack your bags, Aubrey. It's all over. That is it. These two ladies put on one hell of a show. You gotta believe that the companies they work for have to have been watching with very close eyes. There's definitely still going to be a lot of respect between these two women. But on this very night here in New York City, Zaya Corvette secures a victory. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian King, and I hope you all make it home safely.